Okay, tonight we're going to be using the Lodge 14 inch cast iron baking pan is what they call it. But it's conveniently the same size as a pizza. And that's actually how it's um, presented and marketed on the box that it comes in. Um, it's a 14 inch cast iron baking sheet. Um, but you can do a lot of other stuff with it too. As um, I got it for a gift and when I saw it I was like, oh thanks, it's cool, it's cast iron, but I really don't know if I'm going to use it that much, like make a pizza every weekend, right? But actually as I got it out and I started messing around with it and looking at it and looking at some of the options you can use it for, um, it's actually pretty cool and pretty universal. It's 14 inches, so it will fit on two burners. Um, two burners will fit, so you can heat it up kind of like a griddle. It would probably work really well too going camping. Um, if you have a grate that goes over your coals, you can throw this on top of the grate and it'll, it'll heat up from the coals on, underneath. You can use it for um, frying eggs, bacon, pancakes, and so on and so forth for camping. It has a pretty good sized lip on it, um, so it'd probably work really well for that also. So after using it a couple times, we've made uh, three or four pizzas on it, and it actually works really, really well. Looking at some of the other options that I can use it for, I'm actually pretty excited about it. So it's definitely um, a good investment, well, well worth it, especially if you like to do um, family, family pizzas or family weekends or something like that where you guys cook or hang out with the family. So me and my wife are going to be making a pizza on it tonight. And normally we would make our own dough. Um, there's a bunch of great dough recipes out there that you can find. Um, this actually comes with a pretty good dough recipe. There's a little um, recipe card in it that comes with it. Um, so that works out good too. But tonight we're going to be using, we, we just bought, we've had a crazy week, um, it's been really busy, so we just bought some pre-made pizza dough from our local grocer here, and um, it saves us a lot of time, it's only $1.50, basically, and it saves a lot of time, and it's actually pretty decent dough, so we're going to be using that, just to save time, and we're going to be, we're going to be making a pizza together tonight. The first thing that we want to do is to heat our oven up to 450 degrees. And we're going to stick this in there while the oven's heating up and let this heat up with the oven with nothing on it. Um, then we're going to pull it out. I'm going to wipe some um, baking grease on here. Then we're going to spread our dough out and um, put our dough back in and let our dough cr get uh, nice and crisp. Just We're, we're, we're going to bake the dough beforehand just a little bit. Um, so we're, we're going to walk through those steps in just a minute. Okay, so while our baking sheet is warming up in the oven, we're going to go ahead and saute some bell peppers that are going to go on the pizza using bacon grease. Just go ahead and dump your bell peppers in using a medium high heat. Stir them around until they're nice and sauteed. Okay, to get our dough spread out, make sure that you let your dough rise and that it's nice and warm so that way it spreads easy. A rolling pin also works really well to help you get your dough spread out. But just work it around until it gets to about the size that you need it. Once you're hot baking pan comes out of the oven, go ahead and put some butter or bacon grease onto it and get it spread around. I also like to add cornmeal to the bottom just to help keep the crust lifted and separated from sticking to the bottom of the baking sheet. Okay, we had a little issue with the dough, but if you get holes in your dough, just go ahead and you can, dough is usually pretty easy to patch up. Just kind of work it together there. There we go, it's all nice and patched up, and I'm just going to work it out to the edge. Once we get the dough spread out, we're going to stick this back in the oven with nothing on it for about 3-5 to five minutes to let the dough start to bake and get nice and crisp. Once your dough is finished baking for about 3-5 to five minutes in the oven, go ahead and pull it out and begin applying your sauce. We're just using some high-end spaghetti sauce with garlic in it tonight. Next we're going to add a base layer of mozzarella cheese and then we're going to start with pepperonis, spread them out nice and evenly, but add a decent amount. Throw on some chopped olives, our sautéed bell peppers, some fresh chopped basil, I love jalapenos on my pizza, put the rest of our mozzarella cheese on. 
And the rest of the cheese that we're going to use on the top of the pizza is the Costco brand Mexican 3 cheese. Get a decent amount of cheese on there. Can never have too much. That looks good. Once the cheese and your toppings look good, go ahead and throw it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, but keep a close eye on it. Ours got a little overcooked because we forgot to set the timer and started watching a movie. So despite that, the pizza still came out really well, and I recommend making some homemade buttermilk ranch to go along with it. So this is just one use of the Lodge 14-inch cast iron baking sheet. I look forward to doing some other cooking with it and taking it camping with us. Check it out, link in the description. Thanks for watching, happy cooking.